Hi, hi there, kids. It's me again, Teacher Queen, with another video lore discussion in our lesson three in science two. So this is entitled "Your Ears as Your Sense of Hearing." So once again, you have there your ears as your sense of hearing. hearing. So before we continue, how to spell the word ears again? How to spell the word ears? All right. So to spell the word ears, it's letter E, A, R, and S. Again, it's E, A, R, S. So ears. And your ears, children, is your sense organ for hearing. When you talk about hearing, meaning you can hear all the things and the sounds present around you. So we live in a world which is filled with many sounds. For example, you can hear the sounds coming from the nature, right? So for example, you have it there, the singing of the bird, no? the sound of the wind blowing, and the river flowing. You can also... You can also hear the different sounds present in your telephone when you listen to your favorite music on the radio, right? So you use your ears to listen to these following sounds. But don't you know, children, that sounds has two kinds. It can be the pleasant or unpleasant sound. So are you familiar with the pleasant and unpleasant sounds? So when we say soft and pleasant sounds, children, these are the sounds produced by the nature and the softly played music, which means it is good for you to hear, no? And it is not loud enough that creates noise, which is unpleasant to our ears, all right? So once again, you have there the pleasant sound produced in our nature and, of course, the softly played music. And not just pleasant and soft sound, you also have there the loud sound. So these other loud sounds, children, are what you call your unpleasant sound. So other sounds are loud and unpleasant to hear. So when it's unpleasant to hear, it is what you call noise right so it annoys the ears so we don't like hearing things which are loud and unpleasant right so for example you have it there the talking the noise no coming from your classmates or the noisy fireworks it's all right so we have it there the pleasant and unpleasant sounds and to continue let us discuss what are the different parts of our ears so what do you think are the different parts of our ears all right so let's discuss that so the major major part of our ears are your outer ear the middle ear and inner ear again the three main parts of our ears are the outer ear the middle ear and the inner ear all right so as you can see in our picture here children this is where your outer ear is located meaning it's outside where it's visible to the human eye you can just simply see it by looking your ears no in the mirror so that is the part of your outer ear but when we go inside this is where your middle ear located and as we go further inside our ears you have it there you're what you called the inner ear so once again you have there the three main parts of the ear so you have there your outer ear the middle ear and the inner ear so let's go on further to know what are the specific parts inside our outer ear, inner ear, and middle ear. So first, let's proceed with our outer ear. So the outer ear contains pina. So pina. And in the middle ear, it has the ear canal and the eardrum. And of course, in the inner ear, you have it there, your cochlea. This is what you call your cochlea. 
Alright, so let's proceed to know the functions of the different parts of the ear in our presentation. Alright, so the first one, let's discuss what is all about the pina. So the outer ear is also called your pina. So it catches the sound waves. Meaning when you hear sound, many children, it comes first no, through your pina. So the sound waves cause the ear to move back and forth or it vibrates so that you can hear the sounds from the different things and sounds no, which is all around you. So once again, you have it there, your pina. So from the pina, the sound waves pass through the middle ear. Then it will go to the inner ears. So from your pina, it will go inside, going to your middle ear. No, which is where your eardrum located and it, then it will go inside to your inner ear which has cochlea so the inner ear brings the message to the brain all right so from your middle ear the sound that you hear will go to the inner ear so this cochlea will send the message to your nerves going to your brain so that it will tell you what are the sounds you hear from outside okay so from your ears it will go to your brain because your brain tells and interprets the sound that you hear so if it is a bird singing then your brain will tell you that oh it's a bird that is singing that you have heard okay so if it is the blowing in the wind and of course the voices that you can hear outside which are talking so you can identify that because you have there your brain that interprets and tells the sound that you hear from outside so once again that is all about our lesson in ears so ears is your sense organs so let us use our sense of hearing properly by listening well to the words of god so that ends our lesson for today my dear children check out your activity in your books and please answer it thank you so much once again for listening keep safe and god bless always see you again on our next lesson goodbye